Hello guys, so welcome back to our lecture uh, 14. And in this recording, we're gonna continue our discussion about two-bit binary multiplier. And this time we're gonna multiply uh, using another design. So we explored in our first uh, you know, recording uh, the most intuitive, you know, the most direct way, straightforward way to design such a circuit. Okay, you have two inputs, each one is two bits. You have one output, which is four bits. So you can just construct the through a stable, uh, you know, do uh, the kind of maps four times, get four equation in which there, this will be just four lines of code. Okay, the design, of course, the behavior, you know, uh, part of the, of the file. Now it's time to think, you know, in another way. Again, like what we did all the time, Sometimes we uh, we think in a straightforward in a straightforward way. Another time we just you know think about what we already have, the design the, the designs that we already did before, and how can we use it so that we can simplify the stuff, simplify simplify the problem. Okay, uh, and now we're gonna do the multiplication, you know, and see if we can multiply. If we you know we can, we're gonna do the multiplication operation itself in binary and see if we can deduce or you know uh, get some hints for out of that operation so we can do the design in a smarter way so we are we are multiplying two uh, numbers each one is two bits so this is the first number which is b this is the second number which is a so it's really a, you know uh, it's it's exactly the, th the same way we do with uh, uh, with decimal multiplication. So first we're gonna multiply E0 by B0 and then E0 by B1. So we're gonna have this result here. Uh, but before we continue, what is basically a binary multiplication? It is, it is you know, the most simplest way that you can, the, the most simplest, you know, operations that you can do. Because look, here is A node, for example, and B node. Uh, a can be zero or one. B node can be zero or one. Then you can just, you know, uh, do the multiplication. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times one is zero. One times zero is zero. One times one is one. So this is A node, B node, basically. That one here. So it's an AND gate. This is AND. This is ending operation. That's why multiplication is really, is very simple. I mean for two bits, of course, very simple. Okay, so this A node, B node might be zero, might be one. Okay, it's just an end gate between E0 and B0. And the same for E0, B1. Again, B1 is another binary. You can consider it as a binary variable that has just uh, either one of two values, zero or one. And again, E0, B1 is just E0 and B1. So, the multiplication concept here turns out to be exactly an AND gate, exactly an AND gate. Then what we do in decimal, you know, multiplications that we used to do all the time, we shift. So when we do the operations on A1, we shift. So this will be zero here. Then A1 be zero, then A1 be one. What we do afterwards, we just add, you know? So we're gonna add this one to this one here, <clears throat> okay? So E0 B0 plus zero, it's really plus now. It's just adding, it's binary add addition, will give you B0. So B0 is basically E0 B0. You don't need to make addition here, basically. You all the time have zero, so all the time B0, which basically is a multiplication, you know, result. The first bit of the multiplication result is basically E not B not all the time. Then B1 is the sum of uh, the sum part, and I'm, uh, I will explain in a moment, of E0 B1 and E1 B0. Remember, this is one bit. E0 B1 will be zero or one, okay? E1 B0, again, it's uh, either zero or one. So these are, two-bit addition. So this two-bit addition reminds us with the half other. So we need half other here to do such an operation. 
something that we already did before, right? And the B1 will be the sum of this operation. Remember, the other has uh, sum output and the carry output because the two bits might be one and one. One and one is, uh, is two, zero, and we have a carry of one. So the carry of that other, so this will be the sum of half other one. Let's call it sum one or it's whatever you call it. And the carry one will be added to A1, B1. So we need another half other here, half other two to do that such operation. And B2 will be basically S2. And again, the carry C3 or C2, I'm sorry, C2 will be added uh, to zero here. So B3 is basically C2 all the time. So all the time B0 is E0 B0. I mean the ending between the first bit of the first uh, uh, binary numbers that we're gonna, that we're gonna multiply by the first bit again of, of the second uh, binary numbers that we is that is we're gonna multiply okay and always the most significant bit of the output the product okay is basically the second carry of the second half other all the time as usual okay so let's now implement that here is again you know uh, the uh, the multiplication operation in binary, and here is the uh, the implementation. So look, B zero is uh, B zero A zero. We said that B one will be S one of the first half other between these two you know, two, uh, two bits. So this is basically A0, B1, look B1 and A0 here. And this input here is uh, B0 or A1 first, A1 here and B0, here. A1, B0. Look, A0, B1, A0, B1 plus A1, B0, A1, B0. This will go to the half other, half other one. And the sum S1 is basically B1. And where is the carry? The carry of that operation C2, C, I'm sorry, C1, I'm sorry, C1, C1, will be the second input of the second half other. Half other two. And what is the second input of the second half other? It is basically A1, B1. This is B1, this is A1, so this is A1, B1. The sum is basically B2. And we said that the carry C2 is basically B3. So the carry here, carry two is basically B3. You know, that's basically, you know, the, the design. It's really smart and easy, and you just use what you have. But one note here, okay, is this design optimal? And the surprising, I mean, the first one is optimal, by, uh, by the way, the, the first design, design one that we explored in the previous video is optimal. You cannot reduce beyond that, I mean, it's a minima, it is, you know, you used in uh, the, in the minimum amount of hardware and gates and you know uh, or gates and stuff to implement it okay here we have this a mix of you know half other and some and gates but remember the half other is basically you know uh, an and gate for the carry for the carry so if you are adding a and b two bits a and b whatever you call x and y so if you are adding X and Y, X and Y, uh, the carry was X and Y, and the sum was basically 
x x or y or x y bar plus uh, x bar y. Okay. If you have two inputs x and y. So let's explore. Okay, let's explore. So again, the half other end up using uh, and gates and you know and or gates. Just forget about the XOR. Just look at the, you know, uh, here is an one end gate. Here is the two end gates and one OR. Okay, if you try to remove all these half others and just put these you will find out that this design will go exactly to the first design that you're gonna do in your homework, okay? And we have a clue here. So let's take, for example, B3, B3, which is a carry of the second half other, okay? Remember, we have, did, we have done this in the previous video. So in the previous video, again, there, was, there were four outputs, I did for you C3. C3 is, is I just named the output different. So here the output is called B, the output zero is called C. Okay. So I did for you C3. C3 here is B3. So they should be equal. If this is really the optimal design. So B0 should be C0. B1 should be C1 that you were gonna do in your homework. B2 should be C2 and B3 should, should be T C3. So I'm gonna prove to you now that B3 is basically C3, okay? So what is B3? B3 is basically the carry of the, the carry of half other two. So for any half other, any half other that has, you know, two inputs like this, X and Y. So the carry equal to X and Y. And the sum is equal to X, X or Y like what we have seen here, okay? Good. So B3 is basically the, multi the multiplication or, or the ending of the two inputs. Okay, what are the two inputs that we have? So the first input is called A1, B1, A1, B1. This is the first input. Now, what is the second input? Let's open a bracket like this. So the second input is, is basically C1. So let's make it in two lines. So C1, which is basically the carry of half other one. Okay, so B3 is equal to A1, B1, then dot C1. C1, again, it's another carry of another half other. So it's also the ending between the two inputs. What are the two inputs? We have them, A1, B0. And the second input is A0, B1. A0, B1. That's very nice. B3 equal. Look now, here is A1, A1. So basically A1 and A1 is A1. Here is B1, here is B1. And you know, again, B1 and B1 is B1. And here is A0, here is A0. And here is B0, here is B0. Now let's, let's look at this. And what we have previously in design one. So look, here is design one. And here is C3, which is basically B3. I just changed the name. A1 is zero, B1, B0. B3, A1 is zero, B1, B0. So again, uh, when you do your homework, it should give you something like here. I mean, you can here deduce B0, B1, B2, and it will be your check, okay? Of course, I want you to do it using the Carnot map. I don't want you to use the drive the equations from here. It will be a little bit difficult, especially with the XOR in both have others, okay? I want you to do the Carnot map. And they will ask in the homework about the Carnot map. So I will, I will, I will see your, your solution and I will see your, your curve of map. Don't drive the equations from here. And it's just, this is just for your check, okay? I'm just saying too that both, uh, both designs are equivalent. I mean, if you try to drive the equations from here, it will be exactly the same equations that you're gonna drive from the curve of map and you will drive from the curve of map, not from here, okay? 
Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.